Nobody okay. signs up because they're going to learn it in three steps or seven steps or eight. It doesn't, it doesn't bring any extra value to the person who's going to watch the video. It's not the only way to make content, but I want it to be a challenge for you guys to be able to think this way because it allows you to make better content. We can actually workshop this a little bit. That's what I want people to hear as the first thing out of your mouth. Yay! How are you doing, Evan, I'm really what, on here. Hold what on. what what is one thing in your fridge that might surprise us? I just put it in my oatmeal. Goji berries. Goji berries. Wow. Okay. Cool. All right. So what do we got? How can I help? Oh gosh, I am part of your movement makers, and I got, appreciate it very much. I worked yesterday on my ten different uh, titles. Mm -hmm. And I look forward to you looking at those. My people that I help are troubled teens. It even makes me cry. It, voice cracked. Uh, if you, ACE is the Adverse Childhood Experience Test. And kids, unfortunately, have a lot of um, adverse childhood things. And then they act out upon them. And so I speak at detention centers. And I want to help the parents understand more about these children and give the children hope and also maybe re-educate the parents. Okay. So how, how do I uh, get the message out to the parents like myself that have, uh, we didn't think we were terrible parents. We did the best at the time, but we've changed. Uh, so the question is, how do you attract those parents that want to learn a new mindset, a new heart set, things like that. So this is this is where this challenge that we're going through right now is incredibly <laughs> cool. I mean, why we started this whole thing was my frustration with the content being too broad. Mm -hmm. Like if you're just coming, here's a, this is a fantastic example. If you're just coming on and making content to say, you need to have a better mindset. And you just diving into what a what a growth mindset is. Mm -hmm. Holy cow! You're you're competing against everybody. Like you're you're competing against Mel Robbins and Tony Robbins and Grant Cardone and Evan Carmichael and Gary V and like everybody. And because you're more at the beginning of your journey, mm -hmm. you're not going to be as good as Mel Robbins yet in delivering yeah. that kind of message yet. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. And like, why would you? Like, you're at the you'd have to be in just insanely talented or have done something else previously to be that good now compared to Mel who's been doing it for decades right mm -hmm. awesome it's not a it's not a like it's not a criticism of anybody as a human it's just a skill set difference and you mm -hmm. get this by practicing so if you were to stick with this for seven <laughs> years or whatever mm -hmm. five ten years and keep talking about it eventually you build up the brand and the skill set to be able to just talk general mindset stuff. But it's hard to last five, seven, 10 years without seeing any kind of results. Mm -hmm. But if you were talking about helping troubled teens and giving specific advice to parents on, on how to help their troubled teens get a certain result, that's something that Mel Robbins isn't talking about and Tony Robbins isn't talking about. And mm -hmm. this is a crush and you have the knowledge yeah. And we're developing the skill sets. So mm -hmm. this is where you could start to win, where like the bigger long-term goal might be general mindset. Awesome. Here's how we can win right now. So the point of titles and this entire challenge is like, what's a title that is specific? Because parents who are struggling right now, a lot of them are going to go to YouTube and mm -hmm. this stuff up. Like who, where are they going? They're probably not going to, the library they're no. probably asking their parents what to do they're they're stuck you know and and a lot of them are going to go to youtube and say i'm i'm at the end of my rope well how do i solve this problem and they're going to start typing things in and so what are they typing in right they're not typing in mindset packs they're typing in trouble team you know like whatever that is and that's what that's where we want our videos to show up and so it's not about getting a million views on a video. It's about getting the right views on a video for people who are in your specific twinographic or demographic. And people don't understand what a twinographic is. Um, 
So leading with troubled teens is great. Uh, and then helping them accomplish a certain benefit. Like, what are you going to help them? Mm-hmm. What, what do you help them do? Uh, I want how indecisive uh, parents of adult children can become clear in five minutes. That's not, that's not that great. How parents with defensive adult kids can communicate with these five steps. So that's already way better. It's better. Oh, it's a lot better. <laughs> That's a lot. That's already way better than like mindset hacks for your life or something, right? Like now we're being a lot more specific. The biggest mistake that I made in the training and now mover makers are making, and this is why it's taking me two hours every day instead of like half an hour. One, some people didn't watch the training. So they're like just throwing titles like, okay, you got to go watch the training. But the biggest mistake that I did not include, and this is why it's great going through this because I'm learning as well, this is the first time we're doing it, is the number, we're given a specific benefit that has a number attached to it. And it's not the only way to make content, but I want it to be a challenge for you guys to be able to think this way because it allows you to make better content and, and structure it better. The number needs to be around the benefit. So if you're saying you can teach somebody to do something in five minutes, that's, that's a benefit. Mm-hmm. The number of steps involved is not a benefit. Okay. So, and it's not, um, this is not a Janice thing. This is why, this is where a lot of people are getting corrections. And it's mostly because I did not anticipate this. So it's my feeling in the teaching that when I were making up for it in the, in the ongoing discord teaching is saying that you can get a result in X number of steps, the steps don't matter. Like how many steps is not the selling point okay. it's the that I'm after. What's the benefit that I'm after? So you have to put the benefit that has the number in it, not how many steps. Seven number. days, three minutes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Time is great. Um, because that's what I want. <laughs> how to fix your, you know, if, the, if it was around fixing my relationship with my kids uh, in 20 years, well, that's not a big benefit. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't want to take 20 years to fix my relationship, right? You know? Uh, so, but doing it in seven days or five minutes or like, I, I, it has to be authentic to you. Like what, what we're not trying to overpromise something, but what you feel you can actually help people with. Mm-hmm. Then putting that in, in the benefit statement as opposed to the number of steps. Okay. And that's what I corrected most people on. And again, it's not your fault. It's my fault. I didn't anticipate. If you look at my examples, I don't, it's like from our training mm-hmm. for shared in X number of steps. And I should have called out, I didn't think about it. I should have called out, don't put number of steps as the benefit. Cause it doesn't matter how many steps nobody okay. signed up because they're going to learn it in three steps or seven steps or it doesn't, it doesn't bring any extra value to the person who's going to watch the video. Yeah. They need it in time. Time is time will this take or, or like what's a specific What's the specific outcome that they're after? And then how can you quantify it? Like this whole challenge yeah. is to help help you make more tangible, specific videos as opposed to just saying improve your relationship or fix your mindset, which is too, it's too generic. It's too broad. Heartfelt communication to improve heartfelt communication. It's still too broad. What does that mean? What's the, what's the result? I think part of the issue with you and, and you did a so much better job the second time and I'm, I'm excited to see what you do the third time. Some of the words you used the first time around were, were specific, but like nobody's searching for it. I yeah. forget what, it is. What, did, what did you have? It's like what, uh, what women or something or, or I forget what you had. Like what yeah. you said, Wisdom, women of wisdom. Women of wisdom. It was like, <laughs> hot, but like nobody's searching. Nobody's for Googling it. wisdom. Yeah. Right. Great branding for you later to say, "Hey, I'm, we can become women of wisdom," but we don't put that in our title because it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. You but, know what really helped was one of the movement maker sessions when you showed us uh, Google Ads. I don't know exactly what it's called. I just have it bookmarked, and I go in there and type in words and the most popular things that people are searching on Google, mm-hmm. and going from that. And you know, I have not done that for these ten sentences. Well, there we go. We got, we got. Ding, 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 ding. You're coaching yourself, Janice. I'm, I'm, 
<laughs> doing it all yourself. It's great. <laughs> I think I'll go there next. <laughs> so I, and this is for not just mover makers, but anybody who's at the beginning of the journey. The more people, when people say like niche down, th- this is it. It's, it's talking to the person who you used to be and giving them a specific message that they deeply care about, that they're looking for the outcome because they, they may not listen to an Evan Carmichael or Tony Robbins or Mel Robbins or, or whoever, but they'll listen to you because you've been through it. Mm-hmm. So making specific content to them. And we're picking YouTube because that's the, that's the place where your content lives forever. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited to see. It's, that's, it's a that's lot not- of but I'm excited to see. I'm even more worried about the next round because round one was titles, right? This first mm-hmm. week, titles. Second, right. week, powerful opinion. So you have to lead the video with a powerful opinion and you have to oh. you have to share what your powerful opinion is. And we haven't done that training in a long time in Movement Makers. It's and- so, so valuable. Uh, you, you could do like... Uh, an intro video of hi this is Susie and I da, da, and I'm on YouTube <laughs> and the way everybody, and I'm tired and and then you get to the point and then instead of a sentence of I'm trying to think of a great sentence you know an impact uh, troubled teens changed in five minutes stay tuned well no okay so this is this we can actually workshop this a little bit because this is, I see a bunch of people here in the chat too or from movie makers. So you've got your title, which which we're working through, and yours are you know coming along. It's great. The powerful opinion is what do you believe that other people don't believe? So if you're talking about healing a relationship between parents and adult children, mm-hmm. right? Yes. So what was one of the titles? What like what was one about parent like helping them fix their relationship in seven days or something? Oh, here's another. Oh, duh, 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 duh. oh, here I can just give another. How parents who used to be overly critical can follow my six week program to reconnect with their adult children. Okay, so if you're going to teach me in six weeks to reconnect with my adult children, what do you believe about that entire process that people don't believe, that people find strange? Number one, that People can change, that a parent can, uh, can change, can listen, can understand. A lot of people feel, I call it the Oregon Trail. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is what happened. And this is who my kids are. And these are my kids. And that's what they did. Okay. So change, freedom to change. Right. So, okay. So complete this sentence. As a parent, you can change and as a parent, you can change the way you look at your life, the way you think, the way you feel. Oh, yeah. What's the benefit to the, like, tie it to the kids? Like, as a parent, you can change. As a parent, you can change the relationship with your adult children. So you can change yourself. Yeah. And by my, what happens? I can change, I can fix, I can heal. As a parent, I can change the way I, it's really the way you connect in order to connect with your adult children. So the point, the, like, the thing that people don't believe is that they can change, right? Mm-hmm. So, so who I am. If you tell people like, hey, as a parent, you, you can change. And by changing you, it, what, it, it heals the it'll relationship? Change. It will change them. It'll yeah. change. If you It'll want change. to change the way things are with your children, you're going to first have to change you. Great. There's your first sentence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you want to change your relationship with your kids, you have to first change yourself. Mm-hmm. That's amen. your part. That's, that's the, I mean, like when you say amen, that's what I want people to hear as the first thing out of your mouth. So you've got your title and then you press record. And then that's the first line that you say. And like, you like memorize it, get that yeah. line. If you don't say it, stop the video and start over. Like that's the only thing that's worth. If you mess up in the middle of the video, great, keep going. But first sentence, that's a powerful opinion. Yes. Because most people will think that it's not possible to change themselves and it's not possible to fix the relationship with their kids. They may want it, but most people won't believe that. So you're here to tell them this. And that's, that's like it's 
It's what do you believe? You believe this that other people don't believe. And it's way more powerful and authentic than you saying, change your kids in five minutes, stay tuned, right? Like, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> announcer, sales, saleswoman. <laughs> Buy these five pillows and mattresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Midnight TV. <laughs> it's not what you're trying to do. You're trying to, you're trying to get a message across. So that's a great, I mean, I, I, I don't remember it now, but we, you've got the replay. Go back and watch Thank it. Thank goodness. It. Good. <laughs> I couldn't write that fast. <laughs> right. And, and you should look at your sentence and then say amen to it. You should be like, yeah, exactly. That's, mm-hmm. that's. What I'm yeah. Because it, it hooks the viewer in to want to watch the rest of the video. Because I, I don't believe what you just said, but I want to believe what you just said. Mm-hmm. That's the point. And maybe if I give Janice, who I've never heard of, right? Like the whole idea is we're tar- targeting people who don't know who you are, not the people who already know who you are, right? right. So here's this woman, Janice, who I've never seen or heard of before, who just said something that I don't believe, but I want to believe. And she said it with passion and energy. So I'm going to give her eight minutes and watch this video and see what happens. Yeah. You know, we're 15 minutes and watch this video and see what happens. Mm-hmm point so you have a title that's that's hooking in the right audience and then you lead the video with a message that is going to deeply connect to them so now we've earned the permission to capture 10 minutes of their time Mm -hmm. and then and then you're delivering your content i mean that's a whole other point of like how do we deliver content stuff but but right now we just need people watching your videos Mm -hmm. just to that's that's the point of the challenge, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how everybody. I'm I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I really feel like it's best as a three day workshop together because this is where, like, even this, even like you raising your hand, say let's go live together. Workshopping it is where it plays out best, as opposed to like Discord and and just text messages, mm-hmm. but. But I'm also a big believer in just momentum, like in waiting three months for a few people to be able to come to Toronto and do it as opposed yeah. to just getting going. The only, the only fear that I'm battling myself, like uh, honestly is I don't want people to feel left behind or that they don't get it because mm-hmm. we created a, um, a, uh, a solution that wasn't ideal because if you were, if you were in Toronto and we did it and you were struggling, we would make sure that you get it. You know, it's like, Janice, come, come sit, like, sit in the back room here. Like, let's go, let's workshop this and get through it and, and make sure that you got it where I'm, I'm always worried about people, you know, feeling disappointed. So it's like, I need to make sure that people get it and don't leave feeling, oh, I, I don't know, this isn't for me or I can't get it. So, no, 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 it works. It works. Like, let's just spend a little more time doing it together. I think though, with all of the tools that you give us, I'm technically a retired teacher, and there is so much there that you've pushed us that we can learn, like the NFTs, even to switch over from Facebook to Discord. to to, And so then before we work with you, instead of just throwing the sentences out, we have your example. We have a, a video that you'll put in to show something of how to do that intro. And we, you're training us, since we can't all go to the workshop. To the, you have to apply all these things that have been given to us. It, it, it's not going to come easy. These things we do want to change the world, and we do have messages. But you, we have to use all these tools in order to make that impact. And, and we're learning that it's definitely a two-way street for sure. And and this challenge is a lot more of a push than all the other ones that we've done. Like, wait till you then have to record 10 videos. Or, yeah, 10 videos in two weeks. Yeah, but they're going to be so much meatier, so much better than the ones I've been doing. Because, uh, you know, three points and a story and, uh, you know, I got 15, 20 views. And <laughs> this with the thought, with the title, the ad word, Google Sense, the, the one sentence at the very beginning, I believe... Those 10 videos, when we get to that point, will have really good content compared to what I have been putting out. It's not bad, but it's just kind of like lukewarm, bathtub water. 
<laughs> I hope so. I, I, you know, one of the you know one of the challenges of group work is that people are at different stages, mm-hmm. and people need different levels of support at different stages. Some people need more of a hug and encouragement. To say, hey, you got this. You can do this. I'm here with you. Like let's let's workshop this together. And other people need more of a push to say, hey, like come on, Janice, let's go. Yeah, step up and play a bigger game. You usually see it. Like some people are in the Discord, like. As soon as I get feedback, they're on to the next one. It's like, okay, how about this? How about this? How about this? Like, they need a the bigger push where other people might feel more discouraged and they need more of a hug. And and that's harder to do in a group setting. Yeah. But it can't be the reason why we don't do things, right? Like, in moving from Facebook to Discord, too, we lost some people who just didn't want to get on Discord. But it's still a better solution. And, and, it, and if you want to get in the game, you need to know Discord and not Facebook groups anymore because that's where that's where the world is and mm-hmm. will continue to head at least in the next few years. It, yeah, it's like crypto. Yeah. Blockchain. You argue it all you want. <laughs> Amazing book I'm listening to. Uh, I don't know the exact title. Okay, look, uh, The Future is Now. Uh, uh, amazing. That's a total segue off of the subject. <laughs> Angela says, push it and hug and I need both. Yeah. And, oh, and, and Angela, she's, both. I hadn't gone live on Instagram when I first joined Movement Makers last May and she went live with me and I was like petrified. Now I'm like going live every day. Yeah. <laughs> right. and, and we all need a push and a hug at different points in our life for the different things we're working on. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. And that's where like one-on-one coaching or, or small groups, that's why I think this works best as a three-day boot camp because – we can give the the right personalized attention to the right person, um, but again, it can't be a good, it can't be a reason. Like you can't let you can't let perfect be the enemy of progress. And so many great things are going to come from this. And I'm I'm so happy that we're doing it. And and not everybody's doing it, right? Like not everybody's signing up and doing it. Um, so that is fine. But I'm excited for the ones who are, and we'll see who makes it to the finish line. You better be there, Janice. Yeah. Oh gosh, I will be. I, I, I've neglected the, the normal uh, challenge this month, but that, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> well, you're doing, you're doing this one, which is the tougher one. So I'm excited to see you there. Yeah. Janice, awesome. Thank you for hopping on. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Thank you for all your time. Hope your time you is very valuable. Right. Much love. If you want to see another awesome one-on-one I did with an entrepreneur just like you, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. It takes so long to build brand that you don't get customers in the door. I want people getting results and getting momentum and and not quitting. As you get more well-known, as you help more people, everything you touch will just rise.